Hello and welcome to Let's Talk About Secondary School Resource Pack. This is a pack for anxious children so that they can see what the worries might be in a visual context and then they can talk about it. The facilitator then can then put a plan together to get those worries and either take them on board as the adult or help the child to sort of grow, go through each of those worries step by step and resolve them. So what's in the pack? You've got images for school uniform. It's always a biggie, what are you gonna wear? What happens if you don't wear the right uniform? There's always question prompts, school lunches, who are you gonna sit next to? How do you order your lunch? Who's going to be in the dinner hall? Are you allowed to sit next to friends? Are there gonna be teachers in the dinner hall? All of those things are potential um, worries. They are all things that children want to know. Again, you've got question prompts, homework. Gosh, homework is massive. What happens if you don't do your homework? What happens if it's too difficult? What happens? What, what? Let's talk about it. Where are they going to do their homework? What happens when they start to worry about homework? If this becomes a worry, you write it down. Will they have a buddy system? Will they have to do revision? All these things are legitimate and yes, they will. There's a lot of uh, baseline tests when you go into year seven. There are going to be those times when children will be given homework and um, they have a deadline for it. And some schools are very strict. If you don't do it, you will have a detention. But it's important that the families, the schools communicate with each other. If you have a vulnerable child whose um, mental health is you know they're struggling with the transition into secondary it won't be a compulsory thing to do homework I don't know any secondary school that will force a detention on a child that um, that is struggling with their mental health so what do they do when things get too much you need to think they can go to somebody that they trust who is that trusted adult who is the trusted adult in secondary they have them in primary, you know, they work very closely with them. Can that person who's doing this session find out who it will be in the next school? Find out if there's a pastoral team there. Find out, is it going to be the Senko? Is it going to be a mentor scheme? Is there, what you know, what is there going to be? And then if you have a situation where a child is you know, coming into the, the end of term, so where would we, I'd say term five, this needs to be, um, so that things can be put in place for term six. Can they go and meet that person at the new school? Show them round all these worries. Then have a look at the classrooms, have a look at what it looks like at the school, organizing your bag. What are you gonna have in your bag? What would your bag look like? What if you, sort of forget things in your bag. Um, there's always a list, you know, go through them. What does it look like? What does a compass look like? What does this look like? In primary schools, we do an awful lot of putting things out for the children. They hit secondary and it's very much like, okay, you need to have it in your pencil case. We don't have spares. So talk about after school clubs, if possible. What are they looking forward to? Then you've got making friends. Have they got friends that they're going to, to the next school with? Do they know anybody that they may have gone to nursery with that go into the secondary school? It's a conversation. Being bullied. This is some big, big topic that lots of anxious children will presume happens when they go to secondary. There's these big children. You know, what's going to happen when... They go there and, you know, this child might do this and this child might do that. They might steal something of mine. They might push me over in the corridor. It's a talking point. You need to know what happens if. Then have that conversation. If this is obviously a big topic for a child, then this is a different kind of intervention, isn't it? You need to look at what bullying is. Um, it's about perception as well. Bullying for some children could be a, a smirk. You know, he, he pulled a funny face at me. I'm being bullied. You know, you need to kind of break it up. What is it for that child? Cyberbullying, massive. 
more, you know, children are having access to technology, they're able to take their phones into secondary, you know, it is a conversation piece. Then at the end of the pack, it's about writing down all your worries. At the beginning, there's going to be lots from forgetting a pencil to um, homework. But this is where you start to write it down. And then eventually, um, as you go through the terms five to six, they, because this is this would be an ongoing thing for certain children, the list gets minimal to non-existent because it's all been addressed. Is your worry worry for you as a child or is it something I can take on board? Is it something we can talk to your family about, get mum and dad involved? You know, whose worry is this? Then you've got a checklist. Again, this is just about independence. Um, so that if the worry is I'm going to forget my pencil case, we'll have this up. Let's try it out now. You know, put it on the wall at home. Let's get you to um, write on put my pencil case in my bag, put my bag by the door, you know, those kind of things and start ticking them off. Let's get used to it. Okay, that's the end of the pack. Thank you. Enjoy.